Now at this point we're ready for painting. We have 24 separate pieces need to be painting. The brush I'm using here is a one inch wide trim brush. You use it for painting house trim. So this is kind of a cheap brush, uh, but the one inch, it's kind of big and it's one inch and it's great for putting this first coat on. Now as far as the paint goes, this uh, is house paint. It's flat exterior house paint. And uh, it's three parts black, two parts water, and one part white. That's the recipe I've done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with a big piece. I like to start under the arches. So I'm going to turn it upside down and get under the arches. And this stuff is going to drip everywhere. Sometimes what people do is they'll take their paint container. And when they do this, they will paint it right over top of their paint container. So when stuff drips down, it drips back into the container. Otherwise, you're probably going to get a lot of... Uh, uh, a lot of puddles of paint on your uh, on your trash can or on your uh, uh, plastic uh, trash liner. So what I'm going to do is try to get underneath of these arches really well because this drips. And you also see I've got these small windows right here. And sometimes it's hard to get paint inside of those windows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it on. And notice I'm just scraping it over and let the paint run. Okay, this paint is thin enough just to run. I want to completely soak all of the pieces uh, with this paint. Now after you get done slopping this paint on, what you want to do is wipe up the drifts. Now I've done a pretty good job, but you can see there's paint pooling up in several places, especially pooling up on sides of the, uh, uh, the pillars, the bases of the pillars. Because all of this paint now that I'm sitting here is slowly kind of draining down. So what you want to do is scrape your brush off on the side of your paint container. Try to get uh, most of the paint out of it. And then what I'm going to do is on the ruined pieces, I'm just going to jam down. And I want to try to get some of that excess paint off. So we're going to jam down on those. On the inside ledges or the sills of the windows, paint will pool there. So be sure to try to, uh, you know, dab that up. And then after you dab it up, scrape the excess paint off. And then especially get around the bottoms of these pillars because there's paint pooling up over here. And any time where you've got a ledge, some ledge that sticks out, that's probably a good place for paint to pool up. Now after this first coat's dry, what you're going to do is you're going to look for places you missed. Like right here, right along this seam right here, uh, that's one that actually didn't get it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a small brush, this is about a half inch wide, fairly stiff, and ram it down in there and get all those little spots and white places that you missed. Okay, now that the uh, touched up parts of the uh, dark base are dry, I'm going to go ahead and use the Castle Gray Medium Color. This is one part black, two parts white, and one part water if you're using house paint. If you're not using house paint, then regular uh, uh, no water is fine if you're just using regular craft paint. What I've got is about a one inch wide, really soft brush, and you want to get all of the excess out of here. I'm just kind of dipping in the paint here and getting it all out. And we don't, it, it's okay if we don't get it really too dry, because uh, I don't think you're going to go um, uh, too wet with this, because this is only the second coat. So if you get down into the cracks a little more than you think you ought to, it's probably not going to be a big deal, because we do have a final dry brush coat going over top of this. So what I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, see how it does. It looks like that I can kind of see it on there. But it's not, really, uh, it's not really too awful bad. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly dry brush uh, over across the area. And it looks like I've probably got a little more paint on here than I would like to have. But like I said, I'm not going to worry about it too much for this particular coat. What I'm doing is I'm kind of getting the excess paint off the brush right now at the moment. Uh, so I can do a dry brush, kind of uh, a real nicer dry brush. So what I'm doing here is kind of getting rid of some paint without, you know, just painting onto the paper towel. So what I'm doing is kind of going over it like this. And uh, you'll also notice that paint tends to dry darker than when you put it on. So it might look a little bit light at first, and then if you wait, it dries a little bit darker and you go, huh, well, I guess that's not as bad as I thought. So right now I think the paint is getting pretty good. This, what you're seeing right here, is not really what my final is going to be like. So um, I think we're ready to go ahead and go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some jabbing strokes here, and I'm going to push just a little bit more, 
and I'm going to try to get uh, get some good coverage on this. Now notice I'm not doing the insides of the window yet. I want to wait till I get more paint off of the brush before I go to the inside of the windows because you'll really uh, you'll really end up getting the borders of the windows more than you intended to if you if you got a little bit too much paint on the brush. So I've done that. I'm going to go over the tops here, um, and uh, that looks pretty good right there. And now I think I'm about right for going inside of the windows. Now the tiny windows, that's going to be pretty hard to get. You know, if I don't get any dry brushing going on inside of those tiny windows, I'm not going to worry about it because they're pretty small anyway. You know, and I might end up over highlighting the outside edges of those windows. But the bottom sill right here, that's probably going to be a big one. I really should get the bottom sill fairly well because you are going to see that bottom sill. Now, as far as getting underneath the top of the window, chances are it's not a big deal if you don't get under the top of the window because most people view this at an angle looking down. They're never going to see the up underside of the window anyway. So if you forget those or miss those, I don't think anybody's really going to uh, care too awful much. So at this point, the second, uh, the second coat of paint and the first dry brushing that we've done, I think that's about it. So what you can do is you can kind of compare the two. This is the first one that we had, uh, was just the uh, of the dark castle gray color. This is with the first dry brushing. Now after the second coat of paint is dry, that's the uh, medium gray dry brush. What we're going to do is two things before we put on the final light gray dry brush. One is we're going to use this dirt colored paint, and we're going to paint the ground where it's going to be difficult to reach later on. And I'm just going to paint the whole floor of this. Okay, before we apply our final light gray dry brush, we're going to go ahead and glue these things together. Now, we're not going to glue absolutely everything, but we're going to glue most things. So, on this uh, front gate, basically, we're going to start with this. You're going to go ahead and glue this into position here, and this into position here. That will finish the front gate, then we'll do the dry brush on that. As far as the central ring right here, uh, we're going to go ahead and glue the uh, central part in there. And then we'll go ahead and dry brush that. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and glue most everything together on our large tower. The only thing we're not going to glue together is the very top. So this is going to go here. You're going to go ahead and glue this into place. Uh, and we'll probably adjust and move this as we need to. Try to get the uh, arch right directly on the center. And it should touch up against the floor tiles there. The next thing, of course, is going to be the... Uh, floor that we've got right here so what you'll have to do is you'll have to adjust slide that back until it kind of you know works and then we've got the stairway so you might want to have to twist this a little bit in order to get the stairway to fit properly after that's glued we have a pillar that's going to go under here it's kind of a brace so that this floor tile here isn't just hanging off in the uh, middle of nowhere so that's going to go there the next thing that's going to go are our two buttresses. Uh, they're going to go on each side here. They're going to be glued into place. And then also after we glue that, we're also going to glue this main central tower onto the top as well. So all of the arches line straight up. Uh, after that's glued into place, um, I would go ahead and we can go ahead and glue this uh, central little torch in right here. And then as you turn this around to the back side, uh, we're going to go ahead and glue this one right here, this buttress, and this buttress right here. Okay, the last dry brushing step is going to be the light gray of the Castle Gray colors. This gray is actually uh, one part white and one eighth part black, uh, which sounds like a screwy recipe, but you don't need that much. This is going to last me for years, and I'm never going to get through it. I mean, if you, if you do one part black and eight parts white, you're going to have so much paint you won't know what to do with. This is a one inch wide, really, really soft brush. Um, and what you want to do is put it on and you want to get it to where there is absolutely nothing left in the brush. We don't want anything else coming out. What I like to do a lot of times is just put it on the back of something. I'm, I'm seeing a few streaks, but it's really pretty light. And so what I'm going to do is I'm starting out with this small ruin. 
Uh, and I'm going to go over the outside of it. And brushing over it, I can't see anything, so that's just fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, over top of it. And you can see that it's starting to pick up. And this, like any of the other paint that you put on, uh, it dries darker than you put it on. So if you put it on and it seems really light at first, it will kind of darken a little bit as you go. And you don't have to uh, re-dip your, your uh, brush much. You know, that's, that's pretty much it for the, for the back side on this, you know, you compare it to the inside. You have a little bit more trouble on the floor tiles because you want to be more careful on those because there's not as much texture on those as far as picking up. Uh, so, and uh, let's see, we'll do the window here. And we're pretty much going to go around and do uh, everything on all of the pieces that we have glued together.